Hey dears, this is TJ from Rays. So I am back with the important questions of the chapter surface area and volumes and including the Gulab Jamun question as well. I have included one more question that is previously asked very similar to the Gulab Jamun question. So okay, let's start with that question. So here is our first question which is asked in outside Delhi set 1 in 2019. Okay, it's very important question. So, so please uh, let's understand this question first. A solid is in the form of a cylinder with hemispherical end. That means that particular solid has three parts one is cylinder in the middle and two hemisphere at both ends so as you can see in the figure over here one cylinder in the middle and hemisphere at both ends okay the total height of the solid is given as 20 centimeter and the diameter of the cylinder is given as 7 centimeter so as you can see the diameter of the cylinder as well as the diameter of the hemisphere both will be same over here that means we don't need diameter we need radius right so the radius of the uh, both hemisphere and cylinder both will be same that is 7 by 2 that is 3.5 centimeter so i have already drawn a good figure over here for better understanding so here let's take it out we have to find total volume right total volume so what is the total volume then i have told you that this solid is actually divided into three parts that is one cylinder and two hemisphere at both ends that means the total volume will be the volume of the cylinder in the middle and the volume of two hemisphere at the both ends okay so total volume equal to volume of volume of cylinder volume of cylinder plus two hemisphere two identical hemisphere that means it will compute to one correct that means two into volume of hemispheres okay hemispheres okay fine so what is the equation to find the volume of cylinder if you actually forget that please remember this uh, trick that is always the volume will be the product of the base area and the height what is the base of the cylinder it is circle so area of circle is pi r square then the height h so pi r square h is the volume of the cylinder so total volume is going to be pi r square h plus what is the uh, volume of hemisphere that is 2 by 3 pi r cube that is pi r cube 2 into 2 by 3 pi r cube now let's take pi r square common because pi r square is common in both the terms as you can see pi r square is over here pi r square is over here so let's take that outside so we'll get pi r square into h plus 2 into 2 by 3 is definitely 4 by 3 4 by 3 into r okay now as we already know the height and the radius let's substitute that so please keep in mind that this height is the height of the cylinder not the height of the solid the height of the solid is given as 20 over here but cylinder is only the middle portion that means we have to actually cancel out this 3.5 from the both ends that is 7 we have to cancel out so 20 minus 7 it is 13 so the height over here is 20 minus 13 that is 20 minus 7 that is 13 centimeter and radius we got it as 3.5 centimeter okay so i'm just writing it over here to substitute so let's substitute that so while substituting we will get i'm taking new page for that 22 by 7 as pi into 49 divided by 4 in the bracket we have 13 plus 4 by 3 into 7 by 2 i hope it is very clear i have just substituted the values nothing much so after doing this you will be getting a value for uh, if you are cancelling out as you can see 22 and 4 will be cancelling it out and it will be 11 and it will be 12 over here uh, and 7 and 49 will be cancelling and it will be 7 over here 11 into 7 uh, 77 divided by 2 will be having so 77 and uh, while doing inside the bracket you will get it as 53 divided by 3 so 2 into 3 in the denominator is 6 so 77 into 53 by 6 the final answer is going to be 680.17 centimeter cube and it is the approximated value so always write the unit in cubic uh, format okay always the volumes unit is, will be in the cubic format and always the areas unit will be in the square format okay so the this is the final answer 680.17 so the similar type is our gulab jamun problem okay so now we are actually getting into the great gulab jamun problem so let me tell you how easily we can solve this kind of problem so here also uh, let's read the question properly because so many students doesn't read the question properly like a gulab jamun contains sugar syrup up to about 30 percent of its volume what does that particular one line means so it means that in a particular gulab jamun, 30 percentage volume is already sugar syrup. Okay. In a particular, in a particular gulab jamun, 30 percentage is all, all, already sugar syrup. Got it? So what we can write over here is 30 percentage of 
volume is equal to what? Sugar syrup. Sugar syrup. So, they are asking us to find, look at here, they are asking us to find, there, there are 45 gulag jamins, okay. And they are asking us to find the uh, approximate, find approximate how much syrup would be in 45. So, they are asking us to find how much sugar syrup will be in the 45 gulag jamins. So, out of the total volume, we have to take the 30% of that. So, 30% of total volume will be equal to the total sugar, total volume of sugar syrup found over there. That means, 30% of total volume. So, I am going to rewrite this as 30% of total volume is equal to volume of sugar syrup. Volume of, which is equal to total volume of, total volume of sugar syrup. So, in order to find this, we have to find the volume of 1 gulag jamin multiplied by 45 will get the total volume after the total volume we have to find the 30 percent of that so we'll get the answer so le let's find the volume of gulab jam for that for that first of all we need to understand what is the shape of the gulab jam it is already given in the question look at here Jamuns each shaped like a cylinder with two hemispherical ends, just like the problem we did before. A cylinder in the middle and two hemispheres at both ends. That means it is of the shape like this, correct? So, cylinder in the middle and two hemispheres at both ends. So, uh, they have given the diameter as 2.8 centimeter. We don't need diameter. Since diameter is actually uh, common for both hemisphere and cylinder. Okay. Diameter divided by 2. That is the radius. That is what we required. Radius is 2.8 divided by 2. That is 1.4 centimeter. I have drawn an actual figure of gulab jamun in the next page. So, let me take it out for you. So, here, here we have. Look at here. The radius of the hemisphere and as well as the cylinder is going to be 1.4 centimeter meter okay and the height of the cylinder is going to be 2.2 centimeter most of the students make this mistake they take the height of the cylinder as 5 centimeter length is given as 5 centimeter but the length of the whole gulag jam is 5 centimeter that means we have to actually subtract 1.4 from both ends so 5 minus 2.8 will give you 2.2 centimeter that is our height of the cylinder so let's uh, write that height is equal to 2.2 centimeter and radius is nothing but 1.4 centimeter okay i hope it is very clear so in order to find the volume we just have to find the volume of cylinder and the volume of two hemisphere at both ends so volume of so volume uh, okay total volume is equal to volume of cylinder we already know it is pi r square h so pi r square h plus 2 into volume of hemispheres 2 into 2 by 3 pi r cube we already know r we already know h so nothing else we need so 22 by 7 r square is 1.4 into 1.4 into h h is what 2.2 plus again 2 into 2 by 3 is 4 by 3 into 22 by 7 into 1.4 into 1.4 into 1.4 so while doing this particular portion you are going to get it as you are going to get it as 13.552 plus while doing the second portion you are going to get the answer as 11.498 so computing both we are going to get it as 25.05 centimeter cube since it's volume 25.05 centimeter cube is the volume of just one gulab jamin so to find the find the total volume to find the total volume we just have to multiply it with 45 45 into 25.05 which will actually give you 1127.25 centimeter cube so since we have got the total volume just finding out the 30 percentage will give you the answer so 30 percentage of total volume how we can write that it is very easy 30 by 100 into what is the total volume we got here that is 1127.25 so while computing this we will get a 338.17 centimeter cube or you can approximately write as 338 centimeter cube 
so this is your final answer so in this way we can easily solve the gulab jamun problem so it is mostly expected because in 2019 uh, a question of similar type has been asked so it is uh, most expected in this year a kind of gulab jamun question may be asked so please actually divide the whole figure whole solid shape into three parts one cylinder and two hemispheres and both ends so please do the calculations very carefully as well so that's it my dear students please stay tuned for more videos and if you like the video please hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe and share to your friends so see you in the next video bye bye take care